Okay, it's time to talk about marriage, because most people know very little about marriage. Even the ones who are married don't always know that much about marriage, especially the guys. So, this is for all you who need to know a little more. Marriage is about creating an environment in which you and your spouse can help one another advance in spiritual life and creating an environment so when you invite children into the family, they can be in this environment where they can grow and prosper, both materially and spiritually. So, Brihasta Ashram has to be seen within the context of contribution. What are you doing for another person? What are you doing for children? And the example you set for the community and, and how your house can be used to spread Krishna consciousness and how it can be utilized. Just the whole ashram can be utilized as a service to the community. So in our culture, it's all about what do I want? What do I feel? What do I need? What do I like? What don't I like? And so we make decisions about spouses based on what do I like? What don't I like? What do I want? What don't I want? And then there's all these arguments because you realize your spouse is not always going to be what you want, what you need, the way you want, when you want, how you want. And it's very frustrating. Whereas if you enter Grihasta life with a broader vision that this is about contribution, personally learning to compromise, learning to give up some of my selfish interests, learning to be a better person, and then learning to use that as a service to society, then you have the right conception of Grihasta life. And then when you enter it with that conception, you can be successful. So it's not just about you. It's not just about you and your wife. It's not even just about you, your wife, and your children. It's about you and your community. Now, recently I was told that one devotee is kind of prominent, well-respected, uh, wants to leave her husband and marry another man, uh, Brahmachari. And so Brahma, she's a nice devotee, he's a nice devotee, but it's not proper, obviously. And because of that, it creates a problem in the temple. And we've seen this a lot, not only with just a brahmachari and another married woman, we've seen it with sannyasis, and it's, it's devastating. We've seen it with temple presidents. We've seen it with very respected people. And it sets a bad example, and it disturbs devotees. So that relationship that we have is, an is meant to be an example to others. It's not just about what I want to do or don't want to do or what I feel or don't feel. But how is that sending out vibrations that are affecting others? When you set a good example, it, it gives others confidence. Yes, I can do this. It, this is how to do it. When we set bad examples, often we think, well, even they couldn't do it. What about me? He was more advanced than I was, and he, he couldn't do it. So we lose faith. We lose some kind of confidence. We lose trust. trust. And sometimes it shakes us on a deep level. How could this devotee do this? Does Krishna consciousness even work? So it's not, again, it's not just about what we like and don't like, but it's also about how it's affecting everyone within our communities. And ultimately, Prabhupada said, how, he said, how can we be preaching about the glories of Krishna consciousness when our own devotees are, are getting divorced? We, it's such a bad example. So Prabhupada was very upset because he saw us setting a bad example, not even only for devotees, but for people in general. So it's, um, it's a much broader enterprise than just what I want to fulfill personally. There, there's so much more that goes into it. So we, we have to think of marriage as an offering to others, uh, creating an environment for which we advance and others will benefit from us. And Grihastas, they make money, they give money to the temple, to the brahmacharis. They're doing service that way. So it's, it's about service. They're holding programs in their home. It's about service, not about just what I want, what I like. Of course, you have needs. They have to be fulfilled. I'm not saying neglect your needs, but we have to go beyond just what I want.